Hello, my name is Mike Dalton, and what I want to show you here is a progressive proof book for a uh, cigar label, a lithographic proof book. The cigar labels are what are known as chromolithographs, which essentially means color printing. This was the main mode of color printing in the 19th century up until the early part of the 20th century. Uh, these were printed either from stones or metal plates. They uh, have about anywhere from 10 to 12 colors for these cigar labels. Um, the books very old. This one's about a hundred years old, at least. He's, he's got, uh, you know, about 30, 38 pages. With the corrections and whatnot. I'll show you some, of the, I'll show you the progression of the pages. The uh, characteristics that you'll see for the proof book. This is the job number, 1410, S1410. The uh, you can see this stamp on the front. It says proof number. That's the job number. Keep this book in good condition and return to stone storage when job is finished. The way the lithographs were made is there was a small stone that could be easily worked on and moved around that the artwork was created on. There was artwork that was created for each color. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus the gold. So that's eleven stones. Plus, there's a keystone. And there are some other uh, graphics that go along with it for the other parts of the label set. Because the way the cigar box was, it had different, had a nail tag label, an end label, different, different things like that. So there are probably about thirteen stones. 14 stones all together and they were stored in stone storage there's some pictures you can find on the uh, internet with all these stones in a big vault that uh, in this image here would have had these 13 big heavy stones that uh, uh, on a rack and you go and you find this job and a lot of times you see these proof books they're bent in half because uh, they were probably I would imagine just folded in half and stuffed in with the stones somewhere so that you just pull this proof book out when you needed to start this job for this label. These books are really interesting to me. They've got uh, it's a little piece of uh, history. There's printer's writing and notes on them. Corrections. Things like that. Notes for the printer. Um, the way these lithographs were made, like I said, they were done on these small stones, but they were transferred. They, the, the printing job was not done from those smaller stones that the artwork was created on. They were transferred with a special kind of paper, a transfer paper. They were inked up and then transferred to a larger stone in multiples. So, and that large, really, really large stone was put through the steam press, and multiples of these images were made, and they cranked these, they cranked these things out, and they're still fairly easy to find nowadays, the cigar labels. Uh, let's see. This is the finished image for this particular label. You see the color bar? It's got the numbers for each color. I think that's the stone number. So you, this was the stone number for that uh, that brown stone it was 24 to 229. Of course, the job number, the key, the key right here. So anyway, let's uh, let's take a look at how this uh, how the image goes together. It goes in order from yellow up to the gray. The gold would be the last or near last very opaque 